Hi, Caleb with Brennos here. In today's product spotlight, we're gonna be taking a look at the Crimson Trace Rapid Aiming Dot. So we have two models of these optics here, and the first question you're gonna ask is what do they fit? Uh, so we have the standard and the micro. The standard fits your doctor footprint, uh, which is the same as your Bureau's Fast Fire, so anything those will fit, this will fit. And then your micro uh, fits your shield or your J-point footprints. Uh, so anything with those you know, narrower slide dimensions, uh, like your Springfield Armory Hellcats or anything like that, uh, these will fit those. So. Kind of moving on from there, the first thing you're gonna notice about these whenever you pick them up is that they are all aluminum construction. So super robust there. And whenever I have an optic like this in my hand that's being sold as you know robust or uh, rigid or whatever design they're, they're saying, uh, the first thing I look for is the window and how much of that window I can actually see. And I will say that on these, they did a really good job with keeping plenty of aluminum around the sides of the windows, but still having plenty of window to look through. So I really like what they did there. Uh, so good job there, Crimson Trace. And moving on from there, you know, the, another thing you'll notice if you have these two side by side are gonna be the battery compartments. So the one on the micro is actually located on the bottom. So you will have to remove it to change the battery. The one on the standards located on top uh, so you can just keep it mounted, remove the battery, do whatever you need to do. And, you know, the reason they did that is because space is a lot more limited on the micro because it's a lot smaller design. Uh, so having that battery door uh, just wasn't an option with keeping it as small as it is. But you do get a much smaller, more s streamlined optic. And speaking of smaller, streamlined optic, another thing you'll notice is that there's no buttons on this thing to turn it on or off. Uh, which when I picked this thing up, I was looking at it and I was like, uh, how do I turn it on? You know, where's the, uh, where's the go switch? And there was no go switch. So the thing you'll notice here is that these also each come with a rubber cover. So the cover is actually the off switch. Putting the battery in and picking it up is the on switch. So 7,000 hour uh, battery life. So you put the battery in and it turns on, it's good to go. Uh, it also has a shake awake feature. So whenever it detects movement, it turns on. It automatically adjusts brightness due to ambient lighting. So you're not gonna need to adjust brightness level on this one. It's gonna do that for you, uh, depending on what your surroundings are. And whenever you wanna turn it off, uh, you just put the cover on it and it turns off. So that's your off switch. So that's easy enough for this. This is obviously designed for defensive handguns in mind, not really a competition shooting where you're gonna fine tune that brightness level uh, for whatever you're shooting at. This is a defensive gun optic and I think they did an excellent job with it. And it's a, a kind of set it and forget it type setup. So that's perfect for that, I think. And then moving on to their larger one here, this is something you can kind of fine tune a little bit. It does adjust to ambient lighting as well. Um, the cover does not turn it off, um, but you can also fine tune that lighting. Uh, you can adjust brightness levels manually. You have a plus here, minus here. You can hit those buttons if for whatever, it does have the um, motion awake as well. So you pick it up, it turns on. You can adjust your brightness levels. Um, and Again, like I said, you know, you can, it still comes with the cover, but the cover just won't turn it off. You can turn it off manually by holding down the uh, button to shut it off. And that's how that one works. So this one here, uh, you'll notice also, the micro has a notch cut in the back of it to act as a rear sight. Uh, in case of an emergency, you need a backup sight, there it is. The larger one, being much larger profile does not have that. So that's another cool feature of the micro as well. So pretty new to the uh, the actual optic games in general. Uh, they've always made lasers. We know Crimson Trace for their, their handgun lasers. Um, but it's really cool to see them kind of get into this game. 
Uh, they also make some, some rifle optics, some uh, scopes and different things like that for rifles also, but I, uh, so far I'm really enjoying their, uh, their pistol sights, or their pistol optics, I should say. So if you have any questions or comments, or if you've tried these out, I'd like to know what you think about them in the comments down below. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.